It's a northern hydro hydraulic pump. Uh, somebody makes it for northern, northern, and it's John S. Barnes Company. And I don't know. Let's put it this way: the information I got from Northern is very skimpy. It isn't that good, but at least I got a print um, from them. It doesn't do a whole lot of good, except if I was missing some parts, maybe. But that, but that's the print there. Um, so it, you know, it gives you something to go by. At least to know if you have all the parts there. Basically, the only thing that really could go bad with it, besides the part wearing out, a metal part, is uh, the O-rings. And that's what I think is wrong with this one, is just the O-rings. Uh, the fellow I bought off said the second stage uh, wasn't working. It only worked the uh, lower end of the uh, pump, which is, I think it's like 500 PSI or something. And then it goes up to 2500 PSI, but it's a 500 PSI part, the quick part of the pump was working. So that's why I'm taking it to an O-ring. I pulled this apart. Um, earlier, to look at it, to see what exactly what I needed. I noticed there was no O-rings holding these parts of the motor together, sealing it. And what there is, is just, uh, looks like a, a coating of paint. Um, there's shellac or something. Which I asked around a little bit, because I'm not that familiar with rebuilding pumps. I know there's not too much to them. As long as you have a little mechanical ability, you can do it. As long as you hike. As long as you watch how you take it apart and see, and remember how it goes back together, which is good to take a video of. That way you'll you'll know what part goes where. And it's also good to, to mark it so that you get everything lined up right, because you could put this on backwards. Um, this pump, not so much, but maybe another one you could. But this is a 28 gallon Northern, a 1058. I don't know if I said that or not, but it, it it's coming apart loose now, uh, pretty easy. Before it took a little bit of effort, but you can see on that the color is a copper color, and this stuff is peeling off, and that's all that's that I can see um, is a possible seal. That or it's just metal against metal, which I guess it could seal that way also but as you can see it's, it's just peeling right off like a like a thin layer of, of uh, paint but anyhow I got some stuff from the auto parts store and this stuff's for like uh, it says copper spray gasket high temperature sealant it's for like turbochargers it's saying but I talked to one of the guys up there, he rebuilds pumps or he used to or something. And he said this is, they normally just would put them back together without worrying about anything and they'd be alright. But he said this would probably be a good idea to do. It's called spray a gasket. Copper spray a gasket. Anyhow, getting that stuff off isn't quite as easy as I thought. So I put a razor blade in. Scraper. And it seems to work a lot better. And it doesn't seem to be scratching the metal at all. And you can see I got one piece done here. It didn't take me that long. But you can see it pretty clean so that seems to work good so once I get it to where it's fairly scraped off I use a piece of I'm used to using a piece of angles for a straight edge
Anyhow, I cleaned all the pieces up and look at her get an o-ring to fit and I sprayed it with that copper spray. Um, which it just reminds you of paint is what it does, but it must have some be able to seal it some somewhat. I stuffed a lot of the holes with a piece of um, paper towel so I wouldn't spray everything up. So now I'm going to put it back together. I'm going to get a little bit of petroleum jelly on the bearings in here so they're not dry to start with. Bearings seem real good, I don't know. And see how flat the O-ring. It's listed as an O-ring, so I would assume, and they're stiff as stiff as can be too. Uh, I would assume it was an O-ring and not a flat ring like that. Not much use of me trying to measure it. Because it smashed a lot of proportion. I'm thinking about this too. I don't want too big of an O-ring. I don't know ring just gotta be just right. Hm. This is gonna be hit and miss is what this is gonna be. Try that one right there.
Oh, let's see if this works. Okay, that goes. Oh, be careful with my line pins. This one has to go to the top. So I need the key on it. And the rest of the stuff gets put in after. Oh, we matches with that hole. I don't know what the torque of these are supposed to be. And I one thing. I took it apart. Took a lot to get it apart. Oh yeah, feels good. Look at that. Uh, see, look at it. That's copper spray. I didn't even think I put it on that thick. I put a thin coat on. But you can see it. Smashed itself out. 
I guess it did what it's supposed to do. Well, it should be good. Oh, that's good. With that petroleum jelly in there, it makes it a little stiffer, but that's alright. And once the hydraulic oil gets in there, mixes it around, it'll thin it out. 